it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how you can check the maximum capacity on your AirPods battery. That's right, and the coolest thing about this process is that it works on every single AirPods model. So from the AirPods 1 all the way to the AirPods Max. So everyone can do this, I love this tutorial. Let's get started. So, as you probably already know, if you want to check the maximum capacity on an iPhone, for example, all you have to do is go to your settings and then scroll down until you see battery and then battery health and charging and right here, maximum capacity, which on this iPhone is 87%. And what this means is that it lost 13% of its original capacity. So when I bought this iPhone, it was 100%, right? And then after using it for a while, after normal use and normal battery degradation, it now can only hold 87% of that original capacity. That's it. So that's what maximum capacity means. And I wanted to show that to you because we don't have a screen like that for your AirPods. We don't have a feature like that where you can simply see maximum capacity and tell straight away the percentage. But of course, there's always a way to calculate and we're gonna do it manually. So all you have to do is first of all, identify your AirPods model because as I said, this will work for all AirPods models. So check if it's an AirPods 1, 2 or 3, AirPods Pro or Pro 2, or of course, AirPods Max. And as soon as you have that, I'll have link in the description to a direct website where you can check the information, which I'm gonna show you right now, which is relative to your AirPods model, okay? So in my case, that's the page. Well, it's actually this one right here. So this page will show the exact information that we need for some models of AirPods, but as I said, uh, depending on your model, there is a specific page on Apple for every single model. So AirPods 1, the original, right here, right here we have for two, AirPods Pros and AirPods 3, and here we have for AirPods Max, okay? So for everyone. But most people will be like me and will see on this page right here. So all you have to do then is scroll down, okay? And you gotta keep scrolling for a while until you find this information right here, which is what you can expect with and then your model, right? Uh, my case is an AirPods Pro first generation, so that's why it's right here. And with this, we have two very important pieces of information. So we have information for the case and for the AirPods themselves, because of course, we have multiple batteries right here. We have one battery for the case itself and individual batteries for the AirPods. And of course, I'm gonna show you how you can see the maximum capacity on both, on the case and on the AirPods. And they are different, okay? It's not the same thing. So as you can see right here, that's the information that we need. So first, it says here that with multiple chargers in your case, you get more than 24 hours of listening time. And that's right, we're gonna calculate it with listening time, but don't worry, it's easy. I'm gonna do it step by step with you, okay? And right here, we also have that your AirPods Pro get up to 4.5 hours of listening time. Great, that's what we want as well. As I said, those numbers will vary depending on your model. Check here on those pages your exact AirPods model. So as you can see right here, 4.5 hours of listening time is 100% of maximum capacity on your AirPods. It's the original capacity. It's how much battery they hold when they are new. And as you can see right here, there is a little number right there, 15, just to tell us, and this is important as well, the volume, because 4.5 hours of listening time, of course, this will vary on the volume. And it's saying right here at 50%, volume was at 50%, inactive noise cancellation was enabled. So this is extremely important for us as well. So with this, we can already calculate everything. So with this, we can already tell that 4.5 hours of listening time with volume at 50%, with noise cancelling on is 100% of maximum capacity. That's the original capacity. That's how much your AirPods can hold. So that's 100% for us. And with this information as well, we can tell that your case can 
get more than 24 hours of listening time. So if we divide those 24 hours by four and a half hours, it means that our case will get 5.3 full charges on our AirPods. That's the calculation. That's what Apple is telling us. All of this comes straight from Apple, as you can tell. So then we know that five full charges on the AirPods themselves is the maximum capacity, the original 100% maximum capacity on the case. Okay, so we've got all of the information that we need. As you can see, you're following all of the information on the screen as well. And there's information in the description as well. If you want to check in detail, if you want to. Okay, now to the test itself, all you have to do, as you can imagine, is listen to music. So all you have to do is get your AirPods right here and then you're going to charge them to 100%, okay, full charge. So we're going to plug in and full charge your case and the AirPods and make sure when you open up right here, everything is at 100%, the AirPods and the case, okay, this is super important. And then with everything charged up, you can start testing. All you have to do is go ahead here, open up your AirPods, get the AirPods themselves, put them in your ears and start listening to music. And then you're gonna listen, they're gonna be at 100%, right? So listen until they die, until you, you the, the, the music stops, okay? Just like that. And then when it stops, that's information number one. With this, we can already calculate the maximum capacity on the AirPods. So let's say that you put them in your ears at 100% and then at about three and a half hours, they died. So great, three and a half hours is the maximum capacity right now. Great, get the number. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with it. And then after your AirPods die, you're gonna actually go ahead, put them in your case, close the lid and wait until they charge to 100% once again. And you're gonna need to do this until the case dies. So wait for them to reach 100%, the AirPods themselves, then remove it use them once they die once again put them back in and keep doing this process until everything is dead the airpods are dead and the case is actually dead as well so after you finish the second part of this process you'll have the information on how many times the case charged the airpods so let's say it charged it charged four times so then it was everything was at 100 percent you use them, put them back in, and then charge to 100%, then use them once again until they go to zero, put them back in, and then you made this four times, right? And then everything is dead. Great. Now you've got the second part, the second information in this video, and now we can easily calculate the maximum capacity. So first, let's calculate the AirPods themselves. So as I said in this example that I gave, uh, on AirPods Pro, right? Uh, the battery lasted three and a half hours at 50% with noise cancellation on. Great. What you're gonna need to do right here is go ahead and multiply 3.5 times 100 divided by 4.5, which is 100%. Great. Now we've got 77.7%. That's the maximum capacity on the AirPods. So then it means you've lost 22.3% more or less of your maximum capacity. That's the maximum capacity right now. Same thing for your case. So uh, we've got four full charges, right? Great. So we're going to do four times 100 divided by five. Super easy, this one, right? 80%. So then that's the maximum capacity of the case right now. Again, this is just an example with uh, those numbers that I just made up, but those are realistic numbers and they'll be very similar on your AirPods if you test them out. And of course, this is an example for AirPods Pro first generation. Please make sure to follow everything related to your specific model of your AirPods. So that's it, guys. That's the best we can do. Of course, this is not 100%. Of course, this is not on the spot because those are lithium ion batteries. So even if we wanted to, we couldn't get 100% precision. And also we don't have specific information from Apple. Those are all averages, right? We're averaging everything right here. But with this, you can have a great idea on how 
the battery of your AirPods really are. The maximum capacity on your AirPods battery. That's how you calculate it. That's how you get it. That's it. That's the best, honestly, that we can do. So again, all of the information on the screen throughout the video and also all of the information in the description down below, all of the links necessary, all of the information you find. And of course, I'll always be around in the comment section down below, taking a look at your feedback. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bye bye.